show you how to alloy white gold. Now there's a few things to remember when you want to alloy metals in general but white gold in particular there's two types, main types of white gold that you get in the industry. One contains nickel and the other one contains mainly palladium as the ingredient that gives the gold the white color. Now nickel is not a very good metal to use in, in jewelry. Uh, the reason being that at least one in ten people are allergic to nickel. So you don't really want your customers to show an allergic reaction to the jewelry that you are producing. For this reason I avoid nickel altogether. Now <coughs> you get various purities of white gold. Uh, for instance 9 karat white gold, 14 karat white gold, 18 karat white gold is about the highest that we normally use in the industry. Now there's, an, there's a very easy way to work out yeah, what, what uh, quantities of uh, alloys you would want to add to your fine gold to get to your preferred purity of gold that you want to use. So what we do, let's write down what the percentages of gold content is, is of the various gold alloys. 18 karat white gold has got 75% gold content where 14 karat white gold has got 58.5% gold content and 9 karat white gold has got 37.5% gold content so a lot of the times you'll see on the stamps of the metals either 18 CT, 14 CT, 9 CT to indicate the purity of the metal and some stamps you would get 750 for 18 karat, 585 for 14 karat and 375 for 9 karat. So what we do is 750 or 585 or 375 all you do to do the math on this is add a zero in front and a, and a comma, a decimal comma. Now the easy way to do this, let's for instance say we have 5 grams of fine gold that we want to alloy. So the math would be 5 divided by, to get 18 karat, 0.750. And that would give us a total of 6.66 grams of 18 karat white gold when alloyed with a starting weight of 5 grams of fine gold. In this particular case I'm going to alloy some 9 karat white gold. So we'll see the math on that. Let's weigh our, our fine gold as a starting point. We've got a, a starting point of 8,7 grams of AU, which is the chemical symbol for gold. And we want to make 9 karat white gold. So the next step would be to work out what the total weight would be once alloyed. So do the math. 8.7 divided by 0 0.375 that would give us a total weight in the end once alloyed of 23,2 grams okay now I like to use for the 9 karat white gold a 14% palladium content so the next step would be is to work out what is 14% of 23.2 grams total weight. So I take that, multiply by 14% and 
and that would give me a total of 3,2 grams of palladium. The remainder of the metal that I'm going to add would be fine silver. So what I do is I take the total weight of 23.2 grams, I deduct the, the gold weight and I deduct the palladium weight from the total. Minus 8.7 grams of gold, minus 3.2 grams of palladium, and that would give me a total of 11.3 grams of silver. All I need to do now is weigh the different metals to the weights that I've worked out to produce my batch of 9 karat white gold. This is the palladium. Okay, I've got the gold. I've got the correct weight of palladium. Now I just need to weigh out the silver. I need a total of 11.3 grams of fine silver. so we just need a little bit more 11.3 exactly now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to melt all these metals together to make my 9 carat white gold alloy but there's a process that I'm going to follow and that I'll show you next I will be melting the palladium first and adding just a little bit of silver The ideal is to gradually raise or lower the, the temperature of the uh, metal that you're trying to melt. Palladium's got a very high melting temperature. Uh, the next metal in the range would be your silver and then the gold is the lowest melting uh, metal. I'm using a two-stage process to alloy the gold. The first step is just to melt it, mix it as good as possible. Then I'm going to roll it out and then the thin strips I will be melting a second time. This is just to ensure that all the palladium is well melted and mixed with, with the metal. thin and I'll do the second melt. I've rolled the first bar of white gold and I've snipped the pieces into small bits as you can see here. I did not anneal in between, I just rolled straight the bar from start to finish up to this thickness which is around about well approximately half a millimeter thick and I snipped it into pieces with the tin snips. The second melt is just to ensure that all the palladium mixes properly with the alloy and not leaving pure palladium areas in, in the mixture that can create problems or stains in your jewelry piece when you manufacture.
clearly see now after melting for the third time there's no bumps or irregularities on the surface of the metal in the ingot which means that you can be pretty sure that the mix is properly mixed there's no palladium in its pure form anymore it's all mixed with the silver and the fine gold evenly and it's ready to use for jewelry manufacture so here's our piece of alloyed white gold it's got a good white color even color it's got good working properties good malleability good surface hardness good ductility all the properties we need for a precious metal for jewelry purposes.